What's going on? Good morning, everyone. Today is day two of our Southern California desert adventure trip and beyond. We're just outside of Bakersfield, California right now. Stayed at a truck stop last night. Uh, more of a, the truck stops on the other side of the road. This is just a dirt sand lot area that happens to be right next to the train tracks. At the truck stop, loading up, can go fuel up across the street and then head down into the uh, Southern California desert. Go explore. Come on with us. Just fueled up at the truck stop across from where we were staying the night. It's about the cheapest place we found, four fifteen a gallon. And we are off down the road. Well, we took a detour and pulled off another road because I missed the Love truck stop. So we're pulling over so we can let the doggies out. They can go to uh, the bathroom and all that good stuff. Half the time they ride with us in the truck, half the time they ride in here. Let's see what they're doing. Hi, what hi. is going on? Huh? Who's so happy to see us? Alright, go grab hers. First, okay, grab, grab hers. Well, we pulled over to have some lunch and walk the dogs, and I noticed in the parking lot here, there's all these signs. In the beginning, there was love. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. We're in the parking lot of, it says, Dwelling Place. Open Haven Worship Center. The wicked watch the righteous seeking to slay him. About an out, hour outside of Barstow, stopped at the quick stop here, 409 a gallon, 399 if you pay cash. The cheapest diesel I've seen in quite some time. So I do a lot of looking on Google Maps and look for stuff, and I'm really intrigued with abandoned places and whatnot. And I thought we were going to find parts of, well, more parts of buildings. But we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. I believe there is either a housing community here or maybe a trailer park. But now there's nothing. I'm really not sure what's out here. You can see a sign over there, maybe. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. But there used to be a little community here. So I don't know what it is about all these old abandoned places that I'm fascinated with, but I, I research and do a lot of looking online on Google Maps and I don't know, there's just something cool about old past, what once was, you know? So this trip, there's gonna be a lot of stop in it. Abandoned buildings, places like that. There's a lot of other cool things we're doing on this trip too, but no bend, no buildings to explore, but that's okay. Dogs got to get out, run around, have fun. So we're going to load back up because we have another stop today, which is actually is right over there. All right, well, we're going to load back up, get in the truck and head to our next spot. If I find a name of what this place actually was called, I'll put it in the description. Right now, it's just called Abandoned Trailer Park. <laughs> All right. Well, today it says Trucker Special, $7.99. But it used to say something red. Barn? Bar? 
I don't know, hard to say. All right, off to our next stop. Gotta be careful when driving in here. The speed limit is 37 and a half miles per hour. <laughs> Here's another one you see, or don't see. Speed limit, 14 miles per hour. <laughs> Visitor center parking at the top of Hill. RV's okay, no foot traffic. Wow, I was not expecting this. I figured it would be some little building. But this is actually pretty stinking cool. <laughs> We're getting up there. Just keep on climbing. Drifter's doing a pretty good job. You know what? When you look at it on Google Maps, I saw this. And now that I see the horse thing over there, I get it. But you, get, you cannot tell that it's up on top of the mountain up here. This must be the tank where they, they haul the borax. I don't know. Look at that. This is a brake, guys. This is what they do. This is how they brake stuff. Oh. There must be a lever somewhere. Yeah, that goes down in there. And then it actuates the brake. Man, I wonder how often those shoes have to be replaced. replaced. How many mules? 20? Yeah. I guess it can go on these, but it says don't climb on them. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's like plastic. Uh huh. Well, in case you didn't know, those aren't real. <laughs> we were out front, and a lady said, Walk around the bathrooms to up to the back. And she said, You can walk around and go right up to a mine. So we're going to go check that out. Look at that, guys. Those. Yeah. Oh, they're back here. So is that boring? That yes. Let's go up here. We'll get a better view. The mining all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, look at this, 190 ton haul truck tire. Get up oh, there, guys. Oh, that's humongous. Oh, this, this is a 37 R, so it's a 57 inch I rim. Wow, look at that. I'm not going, but it says don't go. Man, look how thick this is. Look how big this is. Huge. Oh, people are walking like, come on, going. Going. Wow. From a Caterpillar 789 haul truck. Man, the height is 11 foot 8 inches. The rim size is 4 foot 9 inches. Wow, the average height of a 12 year old boy. You guys are almost 12. Wow. This is not high, Look at five that. Foot. The tire weighs 6,305 pounds. The weight of 16 male gorillas. Wow. These tires can last 9,000 hours. Wow, that's crazy. All right, this is inside the Borax Museum. What is this? Sample of Borax. Kernite taken from the Borax 9, 1997. So this is Borax? I guess so. Born in 1872. Look, this is that mine. This is it right here. We were just checking out. There's one of those tires, guys, right there. Conveyor bit belt system right here. Ores transported out of the crushers and throughout the assembly or throughout the refinery on a conveyor system like that one. Core samples here. Right. 
previous. Is this all the products that use borax? That's just a minor. Product. Oh, okay. Over 4,000 items that it's in. Wow. It's in almost everything you touch. Wow. Okay, and let awesome. me tell you this. If you want to see the pit, Go out the front door. Oh, we just came there from around up top? Up on top. Yeah, that okay, was awesome. Well, we just seen good part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'll be over in the, in the gift shop. Okay, awesome, thank you. Wow, even your automatic transmission fluid uses borax. Crazy. Is that human? I knew it was in soap. I guess so. Wow, cell phones, computers, barbecues. What? Are we eating borax in our fruit? Are these blocks? Hmm? Are these blocks in the Mm hmm food? Yeah. Play-Doh. Even this guy has borax in him. What the? They said it was a gift shop. I bought a lot. They have a miniature scale, probably, of what they, what's down below. This is a scale model of a thickener. Or borax situation separated from mud to clay. Wow. And another one. Or from the pit. or after primary crushing and or after secondary crushing. Show some of the trucking and shipping the distribution. Well, we're just leaving the Borax Visitor Center. Yeah. Pretty cool, kids gotta learn a bunch of stuff. They bought some stuff, they have the little gift shop inside, so that was cool. That's what part of this trip's about. Since we're homeschooling, road school, and doing all that stuff, me and the kids are just out on a trip for two, three, four weeks or more. And we're going to, besides the cool stuff, we're doing some movie locations, abandoned places, things like this, historical places, all kinds of fun stuff. But this is a good way for the kids to get some good education, hands-on education. So we are excited, we are having fun. And I think I hear a dog up there. What? I hear some whining. What's going on in here? Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, there's the pups. There's the pups. Okay, we're coming around. Momos. Hi, Murphers. Hi, hi, stay down. Stay down. Hello? Wow, this place is gutted. This is what a lot of houses look like in this area. It's just been vandalized since people moved out. Yeah. Be careful. Keep the dogs out. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful for snakes or. Wow. Don't touch nothing. Watch where you walk. So this is what's happened to a lot of the houses that are in this area. Wow. Okay, come on. Wait, Daddy, can you, I have coffee to look at this? So you guys ever seen the movie Aaron Brockovich? It's about the whole thing with the PG&E and the, the stuff in the water and it poisoned them and stuff like that. Well, that was based on this town, Hinkley. 
and we were passing through so i saw what the heck let's stop by and check it out and we did we drove around a little bit most of it looks just like this just like this house we went in a lot of abandoned stuff there is a couple people around here and there but for the most part this whole place is abandoned with the exception of a couple few places left you can see where houses were the houses and buildings that are still standing look like what we just saw behind us so but yeah, since we were passing through, I wanted to stop by and check it out. Well, I think we're gonna load up and head on to our next stop. All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get in. Peggy Sue's Dinosaur Park. Looks like that, that mask on that thing. Close right now. Huh? We like walking here. Alright, well we found our spot for the evening. We are staying at the Peggy Sue's 50 style diner. And they also have a diner sore park. And we are camping out here. Lots of other campers and stuff out here too. So we're going to camp out here for the night. And uh, just to enjoy this spot and relax. The weather is nice. It's looking really good out here. Yeah. All right. We'll touch base with you guys a little later on. See ya. Mm -hmm.